Good morning. This is Bill, Bill's Box of Sound. And you are currently exp experiencing a floor's eye view of my record room. This is an extremely messy room. And this is where I listen to music. This is where I make my videos. And uh, this is... Uh, this is what I do when I'm not working or enjoying my family. Anyway, so it's morning, so I've got my coffee. And we're going to do kind of a little tour of my room and what I'm trying to do to get this place in order. Because if you are a chronic record collector like myself, I've been collecting for the majority of my life. I started when I was five years old and I'm 58 now. Uh, you accumulate quite a mess of records. It's a large part of your life. And um, I'm trying to keep them in order. I've got an Excel file with all my stuff. But let's uh, take a look around the room. I'm going to uh, unanchor the camera here and hopefully it won't make too many uh, noises as I turn it around like this. Uh, right there you've got the listening chair. It's a lot better if you've got a, a, a chair that is dedicated for your listening. And it's also nice if you have a comfortable chair, uh, because sometimes you'll be listening to music late at night and uh, you'll fall asleep. So, all right. Um, over there you will see the entrance to the room, and that is uh, where... Part of the collection is you'll also see way in the corner the uh, spin clean record cleaning th thing. I prefer that to having a vacuum device because the vacuum device is loud and it uh, wakes up people. Because I like to uh, clean my records very very late at night, so I I air dry them and I've covered that in another video, so I'm not going to go into it anymore. Let's go into the part of the video where I've got my unbelievably large number of records to be filed. Now, let's move the tripod and sheen and oh, well put together room, but uh, there is some organization to this place. It's not like you're watching a episode of Hoarders. Uh, right here we've got a copy of Garland Jeffrey's album uh, Rock and Roll Adult, which I bought because it has the song Wild in the Streets on it, but it's not the original Wild in the Streets. I'm a little disappointed. This is a live record. Anyway, that is next to be cleaned. Okay, I've got over here uh, these records here, which have been uh, cleaned and waiting to be listened to. And uh, these records have been purchased at record shows and such and are waiting to be cleaned. You've got on the floor a pile of records here and a pile of records here that have been listened to but need to be entered into the Excel file, the database, to get uh, them into the collection. And then once I have them into the collection, I put them in an outer sleeve and put them in these shelves. And for the last part of this video, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the records that I have to um, file onto the shelves today. And then maybe I'll show you more of my room later. I've got my Audio-Technica ATH-70 um, headphones, which are very, very accurate headphones. I love them. I also want to get a pair of the um, of the uh, ATH M50s as well as the M70s because I've heard that the, the uh, M50s have a much more pleasant uh, bass response. Um, not like the Beats headphones. I have tried the Beats headphones. They're way too bass heavy and they don't sound like music. Your opinion may vary, but that's how I am. Anyway, so let's turn the camera around. Okay, this is the wall that you usually see behind me in my videos. Uh, and these are records that have been cleaned, they've been listened to, and they've been put into the protective sleeves. And these are gonna be filed today. That's my first 
thing that I want to do after making this video. So we got a Louis Armstrong tribute album. Uh, it was released after he passed away, and it's got recordings from 1932 to 1956. We've got Colin the Blues on the Prestige Original Jazz Classic with Tiny Grimes, J.C. Higginbotham, Eddie Lockjaw Davis, Ray Bryant, Wendell Marshall, and O.C. Johnson. Jerry Garcia in one of his uh, solo albums. This one uh, appears to be called Garcia, but it's actually called Compliments because it's almost all cover tunes. Glass Harp, Cleveland Band, It Makes Me Glad, uh, with uh, Phil Kagey on guitar, uh, Daniel Pecchio on bass, and uh, who was a drummer on this? I forget his name, and I apologize. Anyway, um, legendary Cleveland uh, band from the uh, 70s. Herbie Hancock, Mega Mix, 12-inch uh, single, uh, released um, with... Uh, the success of the Future Shock album. Um, this isn't the greatest, but it's got some cool stuff on it. Ahmad Jamal at the Black Hawk. This is the very last album that, uh, uh, let's see. This is the last album that uh, Israel Crosby played bass on. Uh, he passed away uh, soon after the recording of this. Um, Junior Walker and the All-Stars. Uh, this is the Roadrunner album, as you can see in plain print. I love collecting old Motown stuff. B.B. Uh, King, Live and Well. This is a decent B.B. Uh, King album. I like this. Mike Oldfield, Tubular Bells. I've had uh, probably about six copies of this album throughout the years, but I never had a good copy of the original for playing. Uh, Graham Parker, I like him couple of his albums, Squeezing Out Sparks, and also Howlin' Wind, Santana, Woodstock, Saturday, August 16th, 1969. This was a Record Store Day release about a year ago. Peter Schilling, Feller im System, the German version of the Major Tom hit that was out, uh, what year was this? Was this 84? Something like that? This was 1982, actually. A Mobile Fidelity, Super Tramp, Crime of the Century. Great sounding record. McCoy Tyner, Time for Tyner, on Blue Note. Damn, this is a good album. And a couple by Stevie Wonder. Uptight, Everything's Alright, and Signed, Sealed, and Delivered. Got these for very little money. You can see there's uh, some damage here on the, on the jacket, but the record sounds pretty good. Uh, usually... If you get a, cut, a record and it's used and it's what appears to be in bad condition, if you clean it up properly, it'll sound great. So, all right, those are the records I'm going to put away today. This video has gone long enough, and I'll see you next time. Had a great time. Hope you did, too.